Okay, so PCDMS 2019 R1 has been officially released, and with it comes a great new tool called Excel Form Reports. So this tool allows us to have more control over how our Excel report is compiled. Okay, so let me just go ahead and open that. So it's found under Insert, Modules, Excel Form Report. So I'll give that a click. So here it is. So this comes with uh, some preloaded templates. We have the AS9102, uh, five part study. There's a column report, a rover report. So here's a look at the uh, one of the preloaded templates. Uh, it's basically a series of columns and we plug our uh, dimension information into each column there. So it's, it's actually just a drag and drop sort of a, a tool. If you have 2019 installed, I would encourage you to try some of these preloaded ones. You can see how it works. But what I want to show you today is my custom one. So I'll first exit out of here. And I just want to open up my uh, the template that I made. So this is just an Excel template, very simple. I have my company logo, some headers on the columns, some fields for uh, information, part name, CMM operator, date. Um, the name I've called it is CMMXYZ underscore three. So I'll close that and then go back to my program. Okay, so we're back in PCDMS. I want to open up that module, insert modules, Excel form report. Okay, so let's select my template, CMMXYZ underscore three, and there it is in this utility. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is insert data into these fields. So it's blank right now. So under part name, I can access information from my program and just drag it over. So there it is there on the left. So I'll just drag it over and plant it right there. You can also right click and refer to certain information from your program. So part number and all that. So my CMM operator is actually a trace field. And these are the trace fields in my program. So I'll just select uh, the operator name. Uh, date, I can either right click or I can just drag it over. So over here on the left is all my trace fields. And I'll just drag that over. Okay, so down here is my dimension info. All the attributes associated with my dimensions in my program. And you can see it's all listed on this uh, under this heading over here. So I simply need to drag them over. Uh, dim number is the counter, dim ID, and so forth. So I'll just go ahead and do all of those. Okay, so all of the data is marked there. So the next thing I need to do is I actually need to highlight all these, um, this entire row, and then right click, and this is important, I need to set this as a data area. So I'm just gonna give this a click, and you can see it turns yellow. So that will extract all of the dimensions from my program and put them in these rows under the appropriate headings. Okay, so that's all set. So before I hit create, I'll show you one more item here called report settings. So this determines where the, the actual Excel sheet goes. Um, by default, it goes into this folder here. Uh, you can obviously browse and put it somewhere else. Um, the name of the report by default is shown here, but we can turn these off. So it'll be part name, serial number, date, and time. But we can either just turn it off by hitting the blank or select something else. I'll just leave the default for now. Uh, another thing we can do here is change the type. So we can make it a CSV file or a text file. So let's just stick with the Excel file for now. Hit OK here and hit Create. And then you can see in my PCDMS program, it creates a new command line. So also be sure to put this at the end of your program after your dimensions or it won't work. So let's go ahead and run that and then I'll open up my report. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the report. Okay, so there's my completed report. You can see it's filled in the dimensions under the appropriate column scroll down and you can see them all so 64 uh, dims total okay so that's about it um, a great new tool 
available in 2019 R1. If you have this uh, version downloaded, I'd encourage you to try this. I think it's great. A huge improvement over the, um, the previous model. So that's about it. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.